Hello, today I will go through the questions and the answers. Hmm. Question number one. You have disobeyed your mistress. What punishment are you most likely to expect? A. Spanking you really hard. B. Making you lick her boots clean. C. Lock you naked in the closet. And D. Ignoring you completely for a few days. Almost everybody got this one right. The answer is, of course, D. Ignoring you completely for a few days. Why? Because everything else is A. Reward. That's right. Now, question number two. What would make your mistress most happy to hear? A. Mistress, your slave's blood test results came back perfect, much better than before. B. Mistress, it is really hard for me to remain in chastity. It's real pain. C. Mistress, your slave had a very successful day at work. D. Mistress, you have the most beautiful feet. Hmm. Of course, the answer is A. Why? Because her health and her slave's health and well-being is number one. Of course, but the answer C, very successful day at work, is close. So that would be the second option. So it is A. Which of the following is an appropriate thing to say for a slave? So, appropriate. A. Mistress, I expect to be punished. Mistress, I would like to give you a foot massage. Mistress, I would really enjoy it if you made me wear these tights. And D. Is there anything that needs to be done, mistress? It is D, of course. Why? Because all the other answers have I would like and I would really enjoy and I expect. And, and the answer D is neutral. It's about what the mistress wants and what needs to be done. So the answer is D to question three. Question number four. What do you think your mistress sees you as? A. Pathetic dog to be forced to give her pleasure. B. An intelligent, respectable man to add to her life. C. Worthless doormat to spit in his face and take her anger out on. D. An ashtray to do all the dirty work and be used as a human toy. And the answer, of course, is... You got it. B. A lot of people got it right. Yes, there were only like a couple of mistakes. Why? Because why would a mistress, any mistress, want to own somebody pathetic and useless? Do you want to own something which is not good? You want to own the best, right? So a respectable man that would only add to your life, not take away from it. The answer to the question was B. Question number five. When you greet your mistress, what is the correct position of your hands? Facing up to the floor, palms together, hand behind your back. Facing up. The answer is A. Number six. The frequent use of what pair of words... I'm going to pause this. There's a truck coming. Back to the question. The frequent use of what pair of words coming from your mouth will make your mistress want to set you free? A. Lena Paulina, so calling your mistress by her name. B. Love and relationship. C. Me and I. And D. Is terrible and bad. Well, correct answer is. C. Me and my and I. Why? There's a whole video about it, so you should know by now. And D is really close, so it'd be the second correct answer.
well, if you got D, it's still wrong because C is the correct answer. But D, saying that things are terrible and bad and being very negative, it's not something that anybody wants to hear, right? Seven. What will please your mistress the most? A. If you surprise her with breakfast in bed. No! Why? Because she does, does exercises before her breakfast. And who wants to eat in bed anyway? Maybe some people do. B. If you buy her a pair of new boots. Perhaps. But, yeah, maybe if she's very materialistic. C. If you prepare a bubble bath with candles. Mm. But if she lives in a hot climate, maybe she will not enjoy that bubble bath with candles. Plus, she doesn't like bubbles because it's chemicals. But that depends on the person. We're talking about this mistress here, so no bubble bath with candles. D. If you tell her that you are really happy. The answer, of course, is D. Why? Because when other people are happy, including your slave, your mistress is also happy. So, if you tell her that you're really happy and you mean it, that will make her happy. A. What will upset your mistress the most? A. If she finds out you had a wet dream during your chastity period. Oh no. B. If she finds out you have not been keeping your corner time. Hmm, lying, yeah. C. If she finds out that you had some of the taboo foods. Alcohol. Milk. Steak. Whatever. Junk food. Or if she finds out that you talk to your ex-partner on the phone. Mm. Okay, well both of them are kind of... Well, not both of them, all four of them are not very pleasant. But the correct answer is C. Because the taboo foods there to keep, to keep you healthy. And if you're doing something to make yourself unhealthy then it is the worst thing that will make your mistress upset now next page what is chastity a punishment a reward humiliation or torture reward of course your mistress oh, why the reward because Anything, a sign of attention, is a reward that is given to you, that is granted to you. And the only punishment, the only true punishment, is ignorance, or not ignorance, ignoring the slave. Number 10. Your mistress asked you to clean her bathroom, but you really do not feel like doing it. What should you do? Wait for the car to go by? Whoa, 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 some meeting of cars. Look at that. Oh, boy races, really fast. There's lots. <laughs> Never seen this many cars on this road before. Plenty. So. Your mistress asks you to clean the bathroom, but you don't feel like doing it. What will you do? Have a discussion with your mistress about why you do not want to do it. Does your mistress want any discussion? No. Because any discussion is an argument. B. Do it as soon as possible without saying anything. C. Tell your mistress you cannot do it now, but will do it when you have more time. And D, ask your mistress why she asked you to do something that she knows you will not enjoy. Mm. Now, half of the time your mistress will ask you something that you will not enjoy, so you have to deal with it. C, tell your mistress that you will do it when you have more time. Now, what the mistress orders is your first priority, so 
you should always have the time for the orders. And the correct answer was B. Do it as soon as possible without saying anything and do a good job. 11. Your mistress casually mentioned, I would like to have a pink cell phone case. <laughs> what should be your reaction? Yes, mistress, the pink case would look great on your phone. So, blah blah feedback. B. Ask her if you should perhaps go to the shop and get it for her. C. Research some websites on the internet and email her the links of some sites that sell pink cases. And D. Do not say anything and get the pink case next time you go shopping. Of course the answer is D because a pink cell phone case is something very minor. It's not a car or a house or new boots even. So you don't really need to research the sites and send her the sites because it's only a waste of time for her to look at all the sites and choose the case. After all, a pink cell phone case is a pink cell phone case and it doesn't matter if it's baby pink or hot pink. All goes. So for minor tasks, you are entitled to make your own decisions. And the correct answer was... Was what? D. So get it the next time you go shopping. Number 12. Why does your mistress stress the importance of exercising and eating healthy? Hmm. Why? A. To make your life harder and humiliate you. B. To make you into a more attractive person since you are her slave. C. Because if you are in good shape, you can serve her better. And D turn you into a healthier, happier person? The correct answer is D, because that's the ultimate goal. If the one next to you is happy, then you are happy as well. Well, that's how it should work. The more happy people around and healthier people around, the happier we are, right? 13. What is an ideal lunch you could serve your mistress. Mm. A. Something from your own recipes, being creative. Add lots of milk and lots of cheese and you know, sprinkle it all with some uh, MSG and um, put a big piece of chicken and yeah, and bake it all until all the veggies lose their enzymes. It's creative, but hey, is she gonna eat it? Probably not. Something from a nice restaurant. Now, what most people call nice um, doesn't really agree with some people's ideas of being nice. So, what you might say is nice, I might say is, it's awful. The stuff is overcooked, and there is too much, too much of the processed foods that they use. Um, who knows? So, something from a nice restaurant doesn't really apply. C. Something different that she never tried before. A surprise. Mm. Surprise is good, but not with food. D. The same thing she had the day before. Bingo! The answer is D. The same thing she had before because it's safe and you are sure that she would like it. And food is not there to have a variety with. So, variety in food is not that important. Having something two days in a row, no problem. Of course, there is some variety, but yeah, when it's a, a matter of choice, something safe and sure. What is a mistress slave relationship if described by your mistress? Role play in the bedroom, B 24 7 lifestyle, C exploring your se sexuality, and D using the slave to fulfill her needs? The answer is B, 24-7 lifestyle. 15. Which area of life will the slave have most freedom in, but the slave still retains some freedom? Color of your underwear. Hmm. Mosquitoes here. Oh. B. Your dinner menu. C. The times you go to bed and wake up. And D. Your orgasms. 
course, the color of your underwear because it doesn't matter. It can be pink, blue, black, or red, or white. Everything else is important, so you don't get any freedom in it. 16. Bonus question. Mm. What is the quality least important for the slave to possess? A. Ability to read between the lines when it comes to listening to your mistress. That is very important because the mistress would be very tired if she had to come up with all the detailed instructions for every single task. So, when she says something, you have to make the rest up from what you heard before and what she has trained you to do. Right? So, read between the lines. B. Flexibility in being able to change habits easily, adapt to new rules. Of course, because you're being trained and being flexible is very important. And C, no, D, uh, C, being a good cook. That is not important at all. It might be to some people, but not in this case, because um, I have my own recipes and most of the things are undercooked or raw. Um, half raw vegan, so if things are not cooked and might not taste so good to other people, I will love them. Very easy. A simple salad is all it takes. And D, ability to see the world from a positive point of view. That is very important also. There's a nice buffalo that I want to show you. So the answer was what? Least important. Being a good cook was least important. So the answer was C. Look, look at the buffalo. Isn't that cool? That's one big buffalo. <laughs> Do you like the buffalo? So, now I'm going to announce the lucky lucky people who have made it to grade 2 number 45 congratulations number 34 great number 35 excellent and 66 good job 88 good job 31 well done boys that's it nobody else made it to the second grade so we got what one two three four five six six people now, people who have managed to stay in the first grade and the rest will have to say goodbye to, but I'm sure they will not be too sad because if you did not answer the questions correctly, you're probably not the right match for this online mistress anyway. So, people who have stayed in the first grade are 36, 48, 46. No, not 46. I'm sorry, 46, you're not in because you had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 incorrect answers, so not 46. 65 is in. 62, 50, 68, 25, 26, 82, 54, 57, number 2, yay! 72, 47, 32, 39, 79, and 73. Yay! So, welcome to the first grade again for, for you guys. And although I only have six people in the second grade now, the less the better. I can constantly and give you more feedback with emails and talk to you more often. Excellent. I'm going to change the first grade program, so stay up to date and don't forget to watch the videos. I will not always send you an email saying that I uploaded a video. You would have to get a, an email from YouTube saying that she uploaded the video. So, that's the test results. See you again very soon.